The 17 News at Sunrise podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to the 17 News at Sunrise podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. And good morning. It is 5 a.m. on this finally Friday. I'm Alex Fisher along with Nicole Gitsky. Maddie has the day off. She's spending some time with family. And yes, it is a great day. One of the best days of the year. National Donut Day. Oh man, I am looking forward to this day. Um, it only comes once a year. It does. I will, I will say though, I feel like there's always, there is National Donut Day, which is the big day. But then there's also like later in the year, there's like National Cake Donut Day. Yeah. And they, because we can't get enough donuts. I mean, let's be real. Now, Coming up later this morning, it's pretty exciting because Nicole is actually going to show us some of the deals across town, right? Exactly what you can expect. There are some unique flavored donuts, you know, not just the staple glaze. There's some uh, special ones that you might want to get your hands on today. Not just the ones that you like automatically go to. Exactly. You know, yeah. Venture out on this National Donut Day. All right, we could honestly talk about donuts all day long, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, but we're also talking about your forecast, another hot day outside. Oh man, another day of triple digit heat. So if you, uh, you know, you're not used to it yet, well, better get used to it because it's still going to stick around. Let's send it over to Alyssa Carlson. Good morning, everyone. Yes, uh, it is going to be another hot one today. And uh, console yourself with the donut this morning because we have triple digits once again in the forecast. But next week, looking a little bit better. So hang in there. We're almost there. Meanwhile, this morning, waking up to temperatures at 70. Eight degrees right now. We were just at 80 last hour, feeling like 79. And right now we do have winds that are fairly light. And look at this, the watches and mornings have expired actually. Uh, to the east of the area for the Indian Wells Valley, we still have the excessive heat warning and that is going to run from noon to eight. So out near Ridgecrest and east of there, out into the desert areas, out uh, past Mojave in the Mojave Desert, looking for the heat still. It's 87 in Las Vegas right now, 72 two in Fresno, only 59 in LA. And here we go at 9 a.m. 85, at 1 o'clock 97, and at 3 p.m. 101. In the mountains at 9, 78 degrees at 188, and at 3 o'clock 89. I do have some relief in that seven day forecast. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that coming up. All right, Alyssa, thanks so much. One person was shot at a suspected illegal casino in Oildale last night. Sheriff's deputies were called to North Chester Avenue and East Linda Vista Drive just after 9.30 p.m. Initially, the sheriff's office said multiple people were wounded, but a spokesperson said only one man was shot multiple times. He was rushed to the hospital and is in critical condition. No word yet on a possible suspect. Well, the fate of the Kern County Fair could be decided today during last week's Board of Supervisors meeting. County Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop said that vaccination site at the fairgrounds could not impede the fair continuing this fall. Tonight's special meeting also comes after the Newsom administration announced new guidance for mega events with 10,000 or more people. The guidance strongly recommends that these events have a verification process to ensure attendees are fully vaccinated or can show proof pre-entry of a negative test result. The debate over a mask mandate in the workplace ends with Cal OSHA reversing its own decision. Last night, Cal OSHA adopted new rules that require employees to continue to wear masks after June 15th, unless there is documentation that all workers are vaccinated. Those rules are part of a sweeping update to the board's emergency tr temporary standards. The board first rejected the proposal after seven hours of public comment, mostly in opposition of the new rules. This regulation needs improvement because we do not support the amendments does not mean that employers do not support and indeed they already are protecting employees from COVID-19. The ETS has gone in the wrong direction and it needs to be corrected. After initially rejecting the proposal, the board realized the emergency temporary standards are from November 2020 and without any action last night, social distancing and masking would be required for everyone in the workplace regardless of vaccination status for the foreseeable future. The board then unanimously passed the updated standards and vowed to take it upon itself to make changes to them. The board plans to put together a three person subcommittee to recommend next steps. There's one pandemic change that Californians are sure to toast the to go cocktail. 
Governor Gavin Newsom announced yesterday the state will continue allowing restaurants to sell takeout alcohol and keep expanded outdoor dining through the end of this year. Restaurants turned to takeout and outdoor dining during the past year as coronavirus restrictions severely limited indoor service. I'm very excited about this um, and, uh, and I think this is a, a good thing for our economic recovery. It's also a good thing for our public health because we want to encourage more people still to be outside. This pandemic's not behind us. Uh, this pandemic is not extinguished. We still have an enormous amount of work to do. The extensions come as California plans to lift most business restrictions and social distancing rules on June 15th, allowing restaurants to resume indoor service at full capacity. Even so, Newsom says maintaining outdoor dining could help the state control the spread of coronavirus. 15 lucky Californians will be $50,000 richer today if they're vaccinated. Today, Governor Gavin Newsom will draw the first 15 winners to receive $50,000 as part of the state's $116 million vaccination for the win program, the largest vaccine initiative program in the nation. And on June 15th, $1.5 million will be awarded to 10 Californians who have been vaccinated against COVID-19. To see if you're a winner, tune in to the governor's Twitter, Facebook or YouTube pages at 10 a.m. Now to the latest numbers in Kern County, Public Health reported 64 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, but no new deaths. Nearly 1,400 people have died from the virus in Kern County since the pandemic began. The state reports 48 people are in the hospital with the virus, a slight uptick from Wednesday. 10 of them are being treated in area intensive care units. Nearly 200 people rolled up their sleeves at yesterday's COVID-19 vaccination event outside of our studios. KGT partnered with Bakersfield College and the United Against COVID-19 Coalition to get more Kern County residents vaccinated. Kern Medical administered both the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. We're happy to report 178 people got a shot in the arm. They also got free refreshments and a box of food courtesy of the Community Action Partnership of Kern. Another free vaccine clinic will be held outside our studio June 24th to administer the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. For those who want to attend summer camp without the worries of COVID-19, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Kern County have just the event. The Boys and Girls Club will be holding both in-person and virtual summer day camps this summer, happening June 14th through July 23rd. The virtual summer camp is free for all children and will run Monday to Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. Organizers say kids will get the chance to learn about different artists and recreate their paintings, complete fun science experiments, and create websites to showcase their activities. For more information, visit bgclubsofkerncounty.org. June is National Cancer Survivors Month, and Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center is inviting all survivors to join them for a celebratory event this weekend. In addition to free drinks, a photo booth, and giveaways, CBCC says the Calling All Survivors event is a great time to talk with staff and doctors outside of clinical hours and in a more relaxed setting. It's happening tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at CBCC on Truxton Avenue. Adventist Health is also hosting a celebration in honor of cancer survivors. It is happening today at 10 a.m. at the Adventist Health AIS Cancer Center. Organizers say the event is meant to, de to demonstrate that life after a cancer diagnosis can be a reality. For those who wish to join virtually, they'll have a live broadcast of the speakers on the Adventist Health AIS Cancer Center Facebook page. Well, if you're a fan of donuts, you better get ready because today is National Donut Day. Now, local shops across town are offering deals to help celebrate the sweet treat. Whether you're a fan of an original glazed or something innovative like a dark chocolate donut topped with potato chips and a caramel drizzle, you'll be sure to get a taste of that yumminess. Foster's Donuts on White Lane will give you three free cake donuts for every dozen you buy. Sugar Twist is offering a free donut when you buy three of their limited edition donuts. And Smith's Bakery has some special flavors for those donut lovers out there. And you can head to our website to check out those deals happening across the Golden Empire and make sure to catch out this week's Pop Kern. I'm giving you an in-depth look at what you can expect. That's you, at noon. Yeah, I was going to say you had a lot of fun with that shoot, didn't oh, you? Oh, man, I ate a lot of donuts. <laughs> I'm almost too donut out, but I mean, I, was I have National to Donut it. Week for Nicole Gitsky. Oh, man, it's been a lot of donuts, but they're all so tasty. You can't go wrong with any yeah. of them. 
Well, one local post worker, postal service worker, retired yesterday, and one of the neighborhoods he serves wanted to show their appreciation. Residents living on Hagenodes Boulevard set up signs on their front yards wishing Alvy Ramos a happy retirement. They say Alvy has become a fixture in the community, knowing everybody by name and always lending a helping hand when possible. He's just a great guy, and we're sad that he's retiring, but happy for him. But he has been an amazing mailman all these years and has been a part of our, all our family. So I thought it was kind of nice to honor him. Now, after a 37-year career with the U.S. Postal Service, Alvy says he's looking forward to spending time with friends and family, relaxing and enjoying his life. Oh gosh, I can't wait till I wake up in the morning. I, I'm not even sure what time it's going to be because I'm not setting my alarm clock. <laughs> a big congratu congratulations to Alvy on his retirement. I, th I just think that is such a great story, seeing all of those signs. I mean, that is just something that puts a smile on your face. You know, I'm sure Alvy was just uh, moved to see all of those signs and the appreciation for sure. Clinica Sierra Vista is now offering rapid COVID-19 testing and COVID-19 vaccinations. Call 833-278-4584 to make your appointment. But don't delay. Clinica Sierra Vista, putting patients first. Thursday at Garces Memorial High School, the undefeated Rams soccer team looked to continue their push towards perfection. Will senior striker Alexander Halevi continued his chase towards history? The Rams came in just one game away from the SoCal Regional Finals, their third straight, and Halevi, well, he's just one score away from setting the single season record. It was scoreless in the first half, but then early in the second, that's Elijah Topla. He scores, he puts the Rams ahead. 1-0 over the Braves with 25 to play. Crowd loving that, no doubt. Then Norte Vista. Well, they'd score on the penalty kick. And we are tied at one apiece. Their crowd was rowdy. Their team going back and forth with the Rams. A penalty kick there for Halevi. Couldn't quite get it in the net. And we are in overtime. And Norte Vista, well, this is where they'd shine. They'd win the game in overtime, 2-1. to one. Rams suffer their first loss of the season. A father and son right there sharing a moment of heartbreak. But what an incredible ride for this Rams team and for Alexander Halevi. They're my brothers since we were really young, and uh, I'm going to really miss playing with them. I'm grateful to be able to play here for these last three years and just be a part of this team and brotherhood. Nothing's going to compare. That's what I think. This is a special team, special group of players, and not just on the field, off the field too. So, What a team. What a ride. In Lakerland, LeBron James entered a must-win game six Thursday night, trying to preserve his perfect record in the first round, and he got some reinforcements with Anthony Davis back in the lineup, but the help was short-lived. AD only played five and a half minutes before he went to the locker room. And the Suns, Devin Booker, well, he couldn't be contained. He had 22 points in the first quarter alone, went 8 for 10 from beyond the arc, finished the game with 47 points. LeBron James had 29, but the Suns eliminated the Lakers, 113 to 100, and they advanced to round two to face the Nuggets. Team fought. I mean, we fought. You know, um, main runs, you know, guys left it all, all, left it all on the floor to, uh, tonight and, uh, you know, we get ready for next year. And in baseball, the Dodgers had the night off last night, but reinforcements are on the way for today. Ahead of their six-game road trip, they activated A.J. Pollock and pitcher Jimmy Nelson from the I.L. Pollock missed 17 games due to a left hamstring injury, and Nelson had been dealing with some forearm and elbow soreness. Dodgers will open their weekend series in Atlanta tonight. All right, that's going to do it for sports here on Sunrise. We'll have more news after the break. KGET Business Watch is brought to you by Grapevine MSP Technology Services, the Valley's leading IT service provider. Welcome back in your 17 Business Watch. And the hospitality industry is seeing an explosive summer hiring surge. 
Staffing firm People Ready says hospitality related job postings are up 58% from this time last year. The roles most in demand right now include wait staff, bartenders, servers, cooks, food prep workers, and more. The number of current hospitality related openings has soared to roughly 1.3 million. Refinances lending con continues to power unusually strong home mortgage activity across the U.S. According to Adam Data Solutions, the increase in total mor mortgage activity in the first quarter has not been seen since 2009. Homeowners are taking advantage of low interest rates to roll over old mortgages and into new ones. Mortgage refinances made up of the majority of home loans in the first quarter of 2021. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. The 17 News at Sunrise podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.